Hello and welcome back everybody, my name is Seth and today I'm going to be showing you guys how extremely simple it is to have your Discord voice channel audio separate from your desktop audio in OBS Studio. Check this. If you guys want to save yourself a little bit of time, you can go down to the description, all the links will be there. But for now we're going to go ahead and type in voice meter banana. And we want the first link that comes up. It's going to bring us to this page. Once we're on this page, we can go ahead and go down and you can download this .exe file. Also, while that's downloading, you can go back up to the top, go to virtual audio cable and download this file as well. Once both of those are done downloading, you should find them both in your downloads folder on your computer right over here. We can go ahead and double click the voice meter pro setup yes and i already have mine installed but you're going to want to just click the big install button right here and it'll take you through that process it'll go really quick take you less than a minute so go ahead and do that and then when you're done you can go ahead and extract all of the files from this folder and do extract going to put them all in a new folder that's not a compressed zip folder and you can go ahead and double click this VB cable setup I'm not going to do it because I already have it done but what all you have to do is double click that it'll take less than 30 seconds or so and then that's done as well once you have both those things downloaded and done you can go ahead and just delete these you no longer need those download files so once you have those two things installed, you can go ahead and open Voice Meter Banana to get to it. If you can't find it, just go ahead down to your search bar and type in Voice Meter, and it's right here. So we can open Voice Meter Banana. In Voice Meter Banana, you click A1 and choose what you want to output to. So I'm wearing a headset right now, so this is my headset. And all sound from these two um, output devices will now go to my headset. And so we can go ahead and open our Discord. Go ahead to and go to our user settings, voice and video, output device, and make sure we choose voice meter aux input. That will make it so that our sound then goes through that aux input, which then this voice meter banana software over here goes ahead and puts that into our headset. Now that it's in a separate uh, output, we can go ahead and look at our OBS. And our desktop audio, we want to set to voice meter input. Remember, our Discord one was voice meter aux input. So this one's going to be just voice meter input. And then you want to make another audio thing for Discord. And we want to set that one to aux input. So now our desktop and our Discord audio would be separate. Hey guys, Seth from the future. I'm going through editing this video and I realized I forgot to tell you to change your desktop audio to the input. So all you have to do is go down to your bar, click on the sound, and change it to voice meter input. And that's all there really is to this video, guys. It's as simple as that. Go ahead and experiment with it. You'll get more and more comfortable with it the more you use it. So, uh, But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video.